Hello everyone, and welcome back to Back to Basics. On this episode, episode 4, we're doing, or we are playing Germany. Now, this one was a little difficult to, for me, truth be told, because um, there's lots of choices. So, I had to base a lot of these off of what I found you know, fun to play. So I, I essentially did three. I chose three of the old ones that I really found fun to play. You know, Panzer 4C, the 15 centimeter Sig 33B SFL derp gun, and the uh, Panzer 38 TA. Now, mind you, I haven't played the T8 very much, but the Panzer. 35 to 38 series are actually very very fun so I just had to choose a few of those and then I cho chose two relatively new ones um, that while I haven't played them really much or if I, well, with one of them not at all the SDKFZ222 um, I find them unique. I find them really fascinating because the chassis for the SDKFZ220, I don't remember which the original vehicle is. I think the 221 is the original vehicle. But anyway, a whole line of armored vehicles are created around that one vehicle, and that's what makes it absolutely fascinating to me. S to see the modularity in design, and not only that, the uniqueness of what each design brings to the field. So doing, I chose the SDKFZ-222 just primarily for that reason. The SDKFZ-251-9 is mainly because I have a, a great love of half-tracks. And if you're looking at the screen right now, a lot of these I earned either through uh, doing tasks like the... Um, Warbond shop or uh, doing the the uh, challenges and games and whatnot, like the current battle pass one, which has uh, if I go somewhere somewhere in this mess. Ah, here we go. At fifty one, you get the Beretta ninety fifty three Italy, which is an Italian uh, anti tank. But as you can see. I am uh, not quite there yet. I'm still on three. Uh, I still need to complete a few of the challenges, but I'll do that off uh, off camera unless somebody leaves a comment wanting to see me do these particular challenges. But anyway, with that being said, let's jump in and see if uh, if rank one Germany is still fun or it's just a chaotic mess or not. So with that being said, let's begin. And it looks like a Panzer 3F is my... Oh, never mind. I was going to say my only company, but now we're getting more. <clears throat> Just have to wait a little bit. Uh, why don't I take this road? <clears throat> Hopefully, if I can get side on with A, I can do a pretty good amount of damage, but <clears throat> that'll just depend on whether or not the teammates will, uh, Willing to move up past whatever little overlapping fire zones that they like. Although I haven't played much on Flanders, so if anybody's played a lot on Flanders, you know, let me know how it went for you. Uh, with that being said, let's see. I'm not seeing anybody yet. I think they all went to sea. But I believe I'll wander in here. Ooh, wagon. That's pretty neat. Watch, it's gonna be magpie syndrome all over again. I'm gonna go, ooh, that's neat, ooh, that's neat. I'll pay attention and get shot right off the bat. I'm not seeing really anybody. So I think I'll park up right here. LV TA1. Alright, with 
that since I don't see any. Those frames are blue. Oh, they turn blue because we captured the point. That's pretty cool. Wait, why is he being repaired? I didn't see anybody shoot at him. I see a D2. And somebody's taking B. Alright. Well, we'll be there shortly. Pun not intended, but okay. Five millimeter and three. Yeah, those are scary, friend. If I can, uh... there we go. As long as I can get the drop on him, I'm in good shape. say to that. I really like the design of the map, but I already see this is going to be a rough experience because my teammates haven't moved anywhere past maybe a hundred feet from spawn. That's not exactly great. Oh, hi there. Oh, come on. Really? I barely left spawn and I'm already getting... That was the world's longest bomb. Oh lord, they didn't even keep and hold A. They're all just sitting hiding. That's great. Alright. Yeah, I literally have help on. They can see I need help. And they're just driving off. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people have fun with friends and stuff on this. That's great, you know? If you have friends to have fun with, good. Have fun, you know. Have a, a merry time with it. Just be prepared that if you don't really have friends, they're not going to be bothered. Uh, no one on this game is believe me, because if I turn the chat on right now, it would be... Uh, Pretty volatile, to say the least. That's that's kind of why I feel for like new players. If you if you start playing, you need to have a thick skin. Don't don't go into War Thunder thinking that oh everything's going to be fine and peachy. You must have a thick skin. You are not going to have a good time with it if you don't. Because, needless to say, there is uh, a lot of times on here where there has been some 
incredibly negative things be said or have happened. So if you are going to go uh, into the game, just know ahead of time what you're going to possibly get yourself into. Because believe me, while there are some negatives to this game, it's still a relatively fun game, a relatively good game. You just have to get past some of the... How do I want to phrase it? You have to get past some of the more negative aspects of it. And mind you, not all players are that way, which, you know, is good. But trying to find trying to find those players in particular, the good ones, will take time. Will take effort. Will take, you know, energy. You can't just expect everyone to be happy-go-lucky and kind out of the gate. It's that's not reality when it comes to this game. Why is that Wellington? Dude, you're low. I'm actually surprised he made it out of that pool. Ow. So we got the desert this time. <clears throat> So, that's going to be interesting. Uh, we also have the phenomena known as uh, duckling syndrome, where everybody is calm, all stuck in one spot, or all spawned in one spot. Now, mind you, that clump is going to break up, and hopefully we'll have a few people go to B but I have a feeling most of them are going to go to C. <clears throat> and it's just going to be me and my sad little half-track going to uh, going to A, which already has, I think, three or four... Uh, three or four tanks. Maybe one less now, because somebody got off a good shot. Um, hopefully I can get a good shot, too. Yay! For matter of fact, the reason why I'm going yay is this that was my first kill in this thing. So please please forgive my overexcitedness with getting a, a kill with this little goofy half track, okay? This is this is me having fun. Get him with the uh, high explosive. Uh, I can't get that with a high explosive. Nope. <laughs> that is a BT7. Oh. Um, friend, I hope you realize there's a soft top over here. Ooh. Okay. Um. Now, well, I got his driver. It's not what I was looking for, but okay. I have a feeling that guy is still back there. Well, never mind. And let's drop Artie in there. And Artie. Ooh. Never mind. What was that, friend? Our little A13 MK2 guy is doing a number. Oh. That was close. Okay, Quagmire. Go, 
Well, I am happy I got a couple kills in that half track. Killing open tops is kind of eh, a little too easy to do. Commander Gunner Loader. Yeah, Gunner. Didn't quite need the commander anyway. Ah, I forgot the machine gunner. There we go. Alright, let's get a crew member while we're sitting here. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna get a bomb dumped on my head, but that's alright. Oh! It's Stanberry. Tell you our enemy is being engaged by not only our party but MK. Now he's not engaging anybody. That's what I like about these quick firing 75s with the heat. You can poke a lot of holes in people relatively quickly. I will say, the battle's been going okay for the moment. I'm actually kind of surprised. Although the Biss is not going to be a pleasant surprise. Where is Biss? I know he's... He's right there. Oh! Oh! Oh god, okay. I forgot it was the 155mm one. Oh, there was no saving that. Oh boy, there's this guy. I'm probably gonna have a better time. I am definitely not hitting with this 20mm. I like how they have it listed as AA, but it, it clearly sucks as AA. Well, I did get a hit in. Got critical. Okay, well, I guess it does pass for somewhat okay AA. Eee, the thing. If you want to know what the reference is when I look at that vehicle and say the thing, uh, if you really want to know why I reference it as that, then uh, please leave a comment down below and I may or may not answer it, hopefully quickly, depending on how the day is going. So far, though, it looks like we're having a pretty good time. Out of order. Well, till that happened, how did I, how did I break my running gear on sandbags? Did they get the dollar store running gear? <laughs> oh. Um. I'm gonna get in the trench. No, we got a BT and a Panzer 38 going for him. God, I wish this thing could do indirect fire. That would have been awesome. Because I can't do indirect fire with it. I can only do direct fire. It's a royal pain in the ass. But if I can get into that trench... Oh, that's already. I don't want to stay with already. Get into the trench. Trenches are allied. Trenches. 
much as our friend. I don't know how I'm not a dead. Ah, well. I shouldn't have spoke. <sighs> oh. So we got a little panzer. Let's see if that goes through the meshing. Well, almost. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get a little closer. Um, yeah, I'll try and get closer. We'll see. I may have to go after that Panzer 38, but that's... Uh, we'll see. Actually... He is in the smoke, right? Aha! Just gotta ignore the other evil things around me to shoot it. Shoot at the, uh, the unexpected. Where did that round go? I was half expecting that round to detonate and get like five or six different like hit markers. And I guess not. A tree? Yeah, that hit the tree. Alright. Kind of expected that. Um, I'm hoping. Ah, another tree? What the hell, guys? I understand explosives don't like trees, but come on. Oh, now you're telling me... Now you're telling me the framework of the damn blimp. Okay. I get it. You want me to rush in and stab with bayonet, but that's... Railroad tracks. Oh, well, that was short. Oh, yeah. Into the trench. Ooh. Somebody's popping wheelies. that, ladies and gents, we've come to the end of episode four of Back to the Basics. And I, I will admit, yeah, there was some aggravating points, but uh, Rank Run Germany is still really fun, especially when you have a 150 millimeter or 15 centimeter derp gun at your disposal. And now, what did I think of the two newer vehicles that I haven't tried before? Um, 
Well, the SD KFZ 222, eh, not really a fan of it, but I'll still use it. Uh, the SD KFZ 251 dash or slash nine, yeah, I do like it, and it's not just because it's a half track, although that does play a major part in it. Um, <laughs> with that being said, uh, I would like it if any of you or all of you watching would please like comment and subscribe it would really help this channel out and help me out in the long run and uh i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and may life give you many twists and turns with that i'll see you all later <laughs>